Hey everyone, uh, my name is Masood. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, how do I get into physiotherapy and become a physio if I've been away from full-time study for more than 10 years? Now, this video will apply to anyone who's been away from full-time academia for a long time. Uh, you may have been in full-time work and you fancy a career change, or you may have just raised a family or, you know, kids are getting a bit older and you want to start doing your own thing a little bit more. Um, and physio is something that you've always been interested in. So how do you begin and you know how do you start getting into physio number one uh, you need to have some gcses um, you need to have at least three uh the core sciences the core sorry core subjects maths english and science at grade c or four as they call it now um before you can get onto a access to higher education diploma uh course so that's what you need an access to science or access to higher education as it's called a uh, course it's an equivalent to doing A-levels and a lot of colleges and some universities offer these courses in the UK. Uh, the course is fairly easy, if I'm honest, but if you wanted to get a high grade, which you will need, if you wanted to apply for like, uh, you know, physio, uh, you will have to work a little bit extra, extra hard. Um, in the course, you do things like biology, chemistry, physics, a little bit of maths um, and how you'll be assessed, um, similar to like many higher education courses through a range of assessments, um, presentations, multiple choice exams, um, written exams like in the classroom, practicals, coursework, um, a whole load of different things. But the good thing is, you know, if you're strong in one area, um, you can make up for it for the areas that you're weak in. Um, but generally it's not that difficult. Um, it's designed to encourage you to get into higher education. So it's not necessarily, the course isn't necessarily designed to um, hold you back in any way. And you will also get a personal tutor, I think, on many um, higher on many access to higher education uh, courses. You get like someone to help you apply um, via UCAS, your personal statement doing your personal statement and going through the interviews and actually getting onto the course, you will have someone there to guide you along the way. Um, and apart from that, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, I actually personally did a foundation degree before I came onto the physio, uh, before I came onto the physio degree myself. Um, and uh, I found it was, personally, I'm, I'm one of those people that just like, has to like study really, really hard and do the maximum amount of things needed to, um, get the job done uh, so I wasn't really like relaxed but a lot of people I found who my friends in the course they didn't really put that much effort into it and they passed and they got onto what they wanted but again if you're wanting to, wanting to go into physio I think you do have to have a high grade because physio is quite competitive so just something to keep in mind um, apart from that uh, yeah so just have a look at the links that I've left in this uh, video in the description um, it has a bit more information from some colleges, uh, example colleges in the UK about the things you'll need and how to apply, entry requirements, uh, and what to expect. So have a look whenever you get time. And yeah, apart from that, uh, keep an open mind. Uh, it might take you a few months to get into the groove of uh, studying again. So just, uh, yeah, as long as you're keen and you're passionate about studying physio, I'm sure you'll get through it. So yeah. Hope this video helped and uh, make sure to subscribe and like and comment. Thank you. Cheers.